here is my UK Games Expo vlog. I saw so many amazing things at the expo, loads of board games, role playing games, tabletop games, even some video games. And I've made this little vlog to show you everything that I saw. So board games, oh my god, there were so many board games I wanted to I think literally they I managed to get one of the fifth editions of Talisman, which hasn't been released yet. It's not being released until August, but I have a copy. This castle was pretty sick. Imagine playing a role-playing game inside that. It would be pretty awesome. Lots of Doctor Who stuff. I'm a massive Doctor Who fan. And lots and lots of cool prints. You know I love books, so I was mesmerised by this concept. There's also some questionable Baldur's Gate art. Fallout. There was a new Fallout board game that I really wanted to get that looked really cool. Star Wars. I love Star Wars and this art was so amazing. And everywhere you looked there was just something going on and look how busy it was. Apparently 62,000 people attended over the weekend. Oh, I also got this really cool D20 dice. And then I went to the Living World part. It was a fully immersive medieval Anglo-Saxon and even Roman world. And I'm a massive history nerd, so I was loving this. This guy taught me how they used to line sort of leather with beeswax in order to make things waterproof. So yeah, these have leather water bottles, isn't that pretty cool? It was so immersive, like these people were just acting as if they were living in a medieval society. <laughs> Look at this guy whittling wood, I didn't even know they used to do this. I thought it was pretty, pretty inventive. I think I mean innovative. That's a hard word to say. But yeah, it was so cool and I wanted to move in <laughs> to the encampment, but they said, uh, no, you cannot. Oh, and then I met these gorgeous dogs. Look at them. They were so sweet. And the fur was one of the softest things I've ever touched. And yeah, and that was it for the first day. <laughs> like my souls. And then day two, Catan. There's a big Catan stand. And like these massive gaming top tables where you could like, buy your board games and play. And they had like a lesson on how to fight people with lightsabers, which I thought was really, really cool. Yeah, so there's really awesome terrains. And obviously Grogu and the Mandalorian. I love the Mandalorian. Oh yeah, and then I got taught how to grade Pokemon cards, which is pretty awesome. Lots of book stuff, which I obviously loved. And then I met the Doctor. Oh my god, this is the best moment of my life. I've been waiting for this. Obviously, I was wishing it to be David Tennant, but, you know, I made do with what I was offered at the time. And then it was the last day, and I'll show you my haul. So I thought I'd show you everything that I picked up at the Games Expo as I'm leaving today. My lanyard, obviously. This is how I got in and out of the games expo but i'll show you the things that i bought i bought a lot of artwork actually which is probably missing just a bit oh and i got this little shroomy necklace because i love mushrooms can you see them isn't he adorable i think so okay this is the artwork i picked up this one's gonna be a shocker to everyone my all-time favorite movie spirited away i absolutely love spirited away that's why i have my haku tattoo but yeah i picked up this poster Every time I see anything spirited away or Studio Ghibli in general, I have to go and get it. It is honestly impossible for me to not. Uh, and I got this piece of artwork. Um, if you watched my little vlog, um, maybe it'll be in this video actually. I saw this artwork on the first day. I loved it. It's like raccoons. They've taken over a video shop, I'm guessing after some sort of apocalypse. It looks like post-apocalyptic and the animals and, the, and nature have taken over the earth because humans no longer remain. That's what I imagine. I'm sure if I went onto the artist's website, it would tell me the actual law behind the painting, the print even. But it's beautiful. I loved it. So I picked that up. Um, oh, and I also got another. So I'm bending down because my bag's down here with all my pieces in. I also picked up another piece of Studio Ghibli art. Princess Mononoke, one of my other all-time favourite Ghibli films. Yeah, I got this one in a frame. And I, I just love it. I really want to get a Mononoke tattoo, so I was definitely in a Mononoke mood. Um, yeah. Okay, then I also got some like silly bits. I got this guy. I think an Arwen's gonna absolutely love him. He's gonna be murdered by Arwen. And then I got some tops for the gym. <laughs> I got this Deadpool top. I'll crop them to the gym. Army Ashley. Star Wars. The Clone Wars. Didn't say that, but yeah. Oh yeah, and there was a I was gifted this top from this um this brand that owned like a like a gaming bar. They gave it to me. Look how sick this is. I have to remember what they're called, but this is sick. Like I fucking love this. And yeah. Oh, there's one more thing I got.
I also picked up some Princess Mononoke playing cards, obviously, because I saw these. They had Totoro ones as well, and I was like, I'm actually just in like my Princess Mononoke era at the moment, so it had to be the Princess Mononoke ones. Yeah, that's everything I got from the Games Expo. I hope you enjoyed this Games Expo vlog, and yeah, hopefully I'll be doing a lot more exciting gaming things and cool things and events this summer, and I'll take you along with me. But yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.